Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today we're out here at the Ultimate Whitetails Ranch here in Northern Michigan. And I'm with Oscar from GRS Rifle Stocks. And we've got some pretty awesome stuff to show you all. Yeah, uh, we're gonna take you um, on a little trip today into Stock Lane. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about the um, Sporter Stocks, the Laminate Stocks, and also about the Bifrost and the Bipod. Um, so it's, um, we, we do a lot of different stocks. We do different uh, shapes, sizes, and all that kind of stuff, depending on what kind of shooting category you're looking for. Um, but common with all of them is that there's, um, there's a lot of adjustments and ergonomics. So one of the key things with our stocks is the, is the, um, the grip. The grip is angled out six degrees from the core line of the stock, which is a very natural uh, position for your hand. Um, it places the, the hand correctly on the stock and you, you can really grip it well. So you, you combine that one with adjustability, um, push button adjustability, so you can adjust for different shooting positions, um, also for um, correct cheek uh, weld, uh, and that way you take a lot of play out of the shooting position. Um, and that means you, tr you basically transfer recoil the correct way every time. So consistency equals accuracy, and that's what we're all about with GRS stocks. We do a couple of different shapes. This is a standard spoiler for the CZ. Um, this is a custom one for, for the uh, FX Dreamline, and then also we have the FX Crown. And all have the adjustments and everything there. Then we can go over to the Giros Bifrost. Um, that's one of our composite lines. We have different composite lines. Um, this is the most popular one. This has all the adjustments you ever need. This also has like canting, so um, it uh, kind of goes into the shoulder pocket in the correct way. Uh, and then you can have it up or down, depending on um, if you're shooting standing up, you would have it down. And if you're shooting prone uh, at longer ranges, you want to take that up. Awesome, yeah. awesome, cool. All right, well, let's uh, get these zeroed. All right, so the first rifle we're going to get set up uh, bedded in a GRS stock actually isn't a rifle right now, but it was. This is the uh, FX Crown in the Aero Kit platform. And so you can actually run this in a rifled uh, configuration, shoot them in 177, 22, 25, 30 cal. And uh, what's great about this is you can shoot them for precision and you can throw in an Aero Kit and then you can hunt deer with them. What's awesome about this exact same rifle is this is the rifle that won the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge 100 yard bench rest this year and Dusty Powers took home $20,000 using the FX Crown. So in my mind, it's, it's, it's probably the most versatile air gun in the FX lineup and possibly even the industry. All right, so check it out. We're gonna do 100 yards. Let's see if we can hit that box. Money. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, <laughs> dude, 100 yards. <laughs> this FX Aero Slinger at 100 yards. The trajectory on that thing was just <laughs> stupid. And I actually want to introduce you all to my buddy Ross. This is Ross from Deer Camp, baby. Hey guys, how we doing? <laughs> Thanks, man. Great time out here with Chris. All right, man. Look at that. <laughs> 100 yards. 100 yards. So there's my first shot, just kind of getting bearings of where I was, shifted and adjusted. <laughs> yeah, this broadhead too. We're getting players to pull this one out because this thing is not budging. <laughs> <laughs> wow, awesome! FX air guns, baby. Yeah. All right, so we got the arrow gun all zeroed in at uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards. So let's get the 6.5 Creedmoor uh, zeroed in. Let's burn some powder, baby. We got to go look at that, dude. Yep. So there was actually a hole right there. And then my first shot went through whatever hole that is. And shots two and three are literally all touching each other. That's me. Three shots. That is sick, dude. <laughs> Freaking awesome. And I'm gonna challenge you to some golf ball shooting. And we'll, 
<laughs> we'll see what I'm we can do. It. All right, man, let's do it. <laughs> all right, so check it out. This challenge against Oscar is going to be with an air gun golf ball. And what this is, it's an exploding golf ball. When you hit it, it blows up into this powderized uh, white mist. <laughs> and basically, we're going to set it out at 100. And another one at 150. And the first person to complete the course of fire wins for bragging rights. Let's get it done. Oscar's up first, and let's see what he can do. Okay, so we powderized the first one on the very first shot. There's no way he's going to be able to do that two times in a row. <laughs> All right, so lesson learned. Don't challenge a Norwegian uh, former sniper uh, to a marksmanship challenge. Um, yeah, that didn't work out so great for me. All right, you ready to go get some deer? Dude, let's do it. All right, let's get them. <laughs> All right, for our trip here, we're gonna be running some new products from Tacticam. <laughs> These are really awesome. We've got the uh, Tacticam Spotter LR. You've seen on this on my channel. I do a lot of my video work on my channel with this Tacticam Spotter LR. This attaches just to any spotting scope. And so we're gonna be doing some um, scouting today with these and what basically what this does is just it goes right onto your spotting scope and i get some great footage of deer being able to pattern their movements so we're going to be doing some scouting and see if we can get a target buck on camera today with this and then we also <laughs> i'm actually recording right here this is the new tacticam 6.0 and this thing is absolutely awesome the stabilization on this and the video quality and the low light sensor on this is absolutely awesome. I love the 5.0s, but this 6 is, is going to be the way to go for uh, today's hunt. And we're going to be putting this on top of the um, scope mount. So it's gonna actually going to go over the scope on the FX arrow guns, the crown arrow gun. And we're going to put that on top of the scope. And the stabilization I'm getting on this um, is, is great. You're going to see it in the video footage. And then also we have the Solo Extreme. So this has the same form factor as the 5.0. And what's great about this is I can use it inside my film through scope adapter from Tacticam. And we're gonna be running this on the Creedmoor for the rest of our deer hunting. But uh, yeah, the footage from this, this is, if you wanna film your hunt, this is the way to go. Let's check it out. We're here with American Air Gunner this week, and we're gonna be going over some of the basics of saddle hunting, which is something I've been doing for the last few years now. And one of the things that I'm gonna be covering a little bit in that upcoming video on the uh, American Air Gunner TV episode, and also some follow-up uh, YouTube videos, some of the basics, some of the safety considerations, basics of the equipment. And I wanted to demonstrate the new latitude method this is the second version, this is the 2.0. And what I absolutely love about this is they're using rare earth magnets to keep the, um, the bottom part of the seat. This is a two panel design. So you just basically walk up to your tree when you're ready to drop the second uh, panel underneath you, you just pop that under with those rare earth magnets when you're ready to put it back up into more of a single panel design. So it's just easier to walk through the woods without it dangling everywhere absolutely love this new approach that uh, latitude has taken with this so definitely make sure you uh, tune into the american air, air gunner episode where i'm going to be doing a quick overview on this okay so for this first hunt we uh we had been patterning that uh, target buck that second buck that you saw in the tacticam spotter lr footage and he had been moving around with a bachelor group and so we, we saw that he had been moving into this field where there was a watering trough so there was a, a tree about maybe 20 yards away from that watering trough and we figured it was just so hot out. This is probably the best place to get up into a tree. All the leaves are still up in the tree, so it's really difficult to saddle hunt at any type of uh, really high um, altitude. But uh, we're about 15, 20 feet up off the ground. First thing in the morning, uh, right at dawn, we had this monster buck come in. I just could not get a shot off. He was out there. Uh, too far away and then the bachelor group came in right after some does came into the field and there he was absolutely perfect he was the one that I was looking for but the problem he comes walking straight at me 
and taking that straight on shot is definitely a no-no with any kind of uh, arrow based or archery equipment you do not want to take that shot so i had to wait for him to turn at least quartering towards me preferably broadside he opened up that back leg and took the shot So the absolutely lethal shot, he ran out there and just stood there at 40 yards, just stood there. So you could tell he had been hit well, flicking that tail, having some trouble breathing. So you could tell that he, uh, he had the blood was filling up in his lungs, but he stood there at 40 yards. So I reloaded really quick, super fast, being able to reload these arrows, pull it out of the quiver. I had another arrow on the rail within seconds. So I popped another one into him at 40 yards. This right here is probably my, my most epic deer hunting shot ever. Just dangling out of this tree at 20 feet and being able to, to get this offhand hold and just lace it double lung. I probably hit his liver as well as it went through the kind of quartering away shot. Double lunged him, so absolutely perfect at 40 yards. All right, so there's, there's my shot, 20 yards, full pass through, really good blood. And he stood right there at 40 yards. And the precision with that is absolutely wicked. Yeah. There you go, really good blood. That's where he went down, right there. Absolutely wicked. These single bevels just absolutely zipped right through. Amazing. All right, so Kyle, uh, terminal ballistics, what did you see on the inside of the so, deer? No guts at all. Um, we it up a little bit just from the heat and the sun. Yeah. Um, but full of blood, so. Good. Look good, both lungs. Both lungs and probably liver on that. Uh, Correct, yep, in the liver, yep. Yep, liver on that last one. So, yeah, precision of that FX arrow slinger was freaking awesome. All right, so check it out. This right here is the uh, snapped off uh, bolt that we had a, this is the 40 yard shot that went through the liver and then through both lungs and then lodged in the backside shoulder. And that penetration, when uh, Kyle was processing it, he said it was a good half inch buried into that shoulder. So even at 40 yards, full penetration, getting into that back shoulder. And if it wouldn't have hit that back shoulder, it would actually would have passed all the way through, even at 40 yards. Um, just real quick, another th great thing that I'm really liking about these single bevel uh, two blades is typically when you're running mechanicals, um, you'll find they're kind of a one and done type of situation. Um, you know, they open up. There's been a couple I've been able to reuse, but so I'd say the vast majority of mechanicals that I've been I run, you know, after the first time you shoot them, the blades get all messed up. They they get kind of tore apart. Where these are super just, you know, a lot of these traditional broadheads, they are made to be reused over and over and over again. Just pull out your sharpening stone and and uh, you're ready to rock again. But yeah, I mean, just absolutely wicked. So next up, uh, Oscar is going to be running the uh, GRS Bifrost uh, stock with a 6.5 Creedmoor. And we went out for this most epic spot and stock hunt on a buck that I've ever been on. So watching Oscar uh, and Brett, our guide, go on this stock was literally like watching just two um, masters of their craft, masters of their art of hunting. So let's check it out.
good enough. Awesome. Oh, I don't know. Dude, that. GRS. <laughs> rifle stocks, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a stock. Dude, we worked for that one. That was fun. <laughs> it is so much fun when you when you kind of you put in the work and you get it. Look at that skin color. It's like the gray ghost, man. That's what that is. That's the gray ghost. Almost like silver. Look at that, dude. <laughs> that is awesome. It's a dream hunt. 162, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So next up, we've got uh, my friend Ross. Uh, he had worked so hard for us this week, doing a lot of the video work for us. So as a thank you, we uh, we put him on the Creedmoor and got some venison in the freezer for him in preparation for his upcoming wedding. That's her, yeah. She knows we're here. She went hard right. Yep, I got her. Congratulations, man. Thanks, brother. Let's go find it first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, good job, oh, Ross. Yes. Oh, man. Nice. Beautiful though. Oh. Nice. Look at that. Dude. Who's the killer with, man? Beautiful Creedmoor here. GRS stock. Man, this thing is a tack driving machine. Look at that, probably, I don't know, 100 yard shot or so, put her right at the pump station. Took care of her. She expired fast and we got beautiful dough. Congratulations on, Thanks, your, uh, on your wedding coming up here, bud. Awesome, yeah, this is a great little get out for the wedding. <laughs> Appreciate you guys, thanks, Chris. Awesome. Thanks, Oscar. Thank cool. you. Congrats, man. Thank you. <laughs> So watching Oscar and Ross drop in deer out there past 100 yards, I wanted to get in on the action and then take a long range shot on a deer. So we had actually seen some does out in a field, uh, possibly about 200 yards, 150 to 200 yards out. So we set out to do a spot and stalk to drop a deer out there long range. But sometimes in the hunting woods, things don't go the way as planned. <laughs> all right so it was my turn on the six five we were coming out here to this big cornfield out here and we had some deer hit some doe probably out there 150 200 yards thought we we're gonna get a far shot so check it out we were here at the side by side 
and we were like maybe 50 yards away walking down this trail doe pops up walks across 20 yards with a 6.5 dumped it in her chest hard quartering towards me shot it's gonna be really interesting to see the uh, terminal damage on that thing so she ran about 20 yards dumped on the other side of that hill <laughs> yeah. so get her, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Long Ranger, baby. Long Ranger. <laughs> We're going to donate this one. A lot of hungry families here in Michigan. So Oscar and I wanted to come out and just get a, another dough. Get some meat out to the, the people in need here in Michigan. The guys here at Ultimate Whitetails, they're very generous to their local community. Just love that we could be part of that. So great. Uh, it wasn't a very long shot. We were going out there for hundreds of yards and we maybe had a dozen. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe a 15 yard shot, 20 yard shot. So GRS rifle stocks, baby, getting the job done with the 6.5. And this thing is absolutely awesome. All right, Kyle, uh, tell us a little bit about your foundation. Uh, so we have a foundation called Mr. Wildlife. Um, what we do is we work with disabled veterans, um, kids and families of fallen police officers, and then we also do kids with terminal illnesses. So we offer hunting experiences for those, those um, individuals, and then we also donate meat to help those in need. That's awesome. Well, let's check out the freezer and see what they're gonna be getting. So yeah, we're able to get some deer down today. There's a lot of needy families here in Northern Michigan. Some deserving veterans, first responders, and families. Kyle, this has been awesome, man. It's been a good time. All right, there it is, everybody. An awesome couple days hunting out here with Oscar. Absolute epic hunt. I hope you learned a lot about the GRS stocks. Definitely check them out. The best rifle stock that I have ever shouldered. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Take care. <laughs>